Okay, so get this. Uh, you walk into your kitchen, right? And Optimus is just like casually making its way over to the counter. Mm. But it's not to grab like a snack or anything. Right. It's grabbing its own charger. Wow. Plugs itself in no human help needed. Which is... And we're not talking about like some distant future sci-fi movie stuff. Yeah. This is Tesla's Optimus bot like right now. And it's making some seriously impressive strides. It really is remarkable when you think about it. You know, we've all seen robots perform really specific tasks. Right. In very controlled environments. Yeah. But Optimus navigating a space that it's never been in before on its own. Yeah. That's a game changer. I mean, that, that points to a future where robots aren't just tools, you know, they're they're adaptable partners. And and it's not just like rolling around on a flat surface either, right? They've got Optimus tackling stairs and uneven terrain. Yeah, and, and that's important because stairs might seem simple to us, right? But for a robot, it's a highly complex task. Right. Uh, it requires precise balance, real-time adjustments based on the environment. Not to mention the coordination of, like, all of its moving parts. Yeah. The fact that Optimus is already learning to handle this is a huge indicator of how quickly this technology is advancing. It really makes you think, like, what will be the new impossible task for a robot a year from now? Precisely. And, and that's what's so fascinating here. It's not just what Optimus can do today, but what these advancements tell us about the learning capabilities of this AI. Especially since they're using the same tech that powers Tesla's autopilot. Really? It's like they're training robots the same way they train self-driving cars, yeah. which is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, it's a brilliant example of how AI development in one area can rapidly advance another. Right. Those core skills of you know perception, decision-making, path planning, they're not limited to cars. Yeah. This shared AI approach could give Tesla a significant advantage in developing adaptable robots compared to companies that are, you know, starting from scratch. Okay, so robots doing their own thing, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But what about interacting with us? Right. Like, you know, in a helpful way and not like the scary sci-fi way. Right. Well, they're already working on that, too. Oh, okay. Optimus is learning to respond to human instructions, even simple tasks like handing over objects. Wait, seriously, like, hey, Optimus, can you bring me that thingamajig? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. This is the beginning of what we call collaborative robots or cobots. Okay. Designed to work alongside humans and the ability to understand gestures, voice commands. Right. It opens up a world of possibilities in homes, workplaces, you name it. Okay, so how does Optimus do all of this, though? It feels like it needs a supercomputer for a brain. Well, you're not wrong. Optimus has some serious onboard processing power using Tesla's own AI chips. Okay. This means all the complex calculations, the learning, the decision making. It's all happening right there inside the robot, not on some distant server. Which is probably for the best. Right. Can you imagine waiting for your snack because Optimus had like a slow internet connection? It's exactly. This yeah. onboard processing allows for that real-time responsiveness and adaptability. <laughs> right. That's so crucial for robots to function in our world. So what does this all mean then? Are we on the verge of a robotic revolution here? I think we may be at the very beginning. You know, <laughs> what we're seeing with Optimus is a glimpse into the potential of tr truly adaptable learning robots. Mm. It makes you wonder, what will our relationship with this kind of AI look like in 5, 10, 20 years? Yeah. It's a really exciting time to be paying attention to this field. It really is. All right. Well, that's it for this deep dive. We'll be back next time with even more fascinating insights and analysis. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date and we'll see you in the future.